next stage, a man looking for trouble. What can you see beyond the darkness? When you look beyond the darkness, tell me what do you see? It's your boy T-I-N-Y to the P. Yeah, he's looking for trouble here on Twitch.tv with Crash or Jade or Spyro or Leon Kennedy. Is there a new game to start? Is he doing some art? Maybe knowledge of an 80s children's show to impart? Cause he's mentiferous, vigorous, rigorous. He's damn vociferous and arting or Mario Karting. He's very carnivorous. Tiny Peter. Tiny Peter. With a great rate of safe states abating his fate, Peter's greeted by emotes of cheaters when people donate. Give him a yeah. or a whoop, and we'll build up the hype and I'll struggle to read half the words that you type. So are you ready to go? Come on, what will it be? Are we gaming or painting or watching dated kids TV? Grab a bite, crack a strike, dim the lights, sit tight, cause the stream's about to start and the mics sound right, boy. Tiny Peter. Tiny Peter. Check the mic and make sure it sounds like right, boy. 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 Hello everybody and welcome to a live stream. It's me, Tiny Peter. I'm here to play a very exciting game. I can't wait for you all to enjoy the uh the highbrow high concept, um, quite narratively intense uh, experience that is Rugrats Search for Reptar. Welcome everyone, welcome in. Yeah. Oh, Hello yeah. There, Peter, how are you? How was your weekend? It's Tuesday night and you know what that means. It's a special Tuesday Peter Rostin stream. That's true. Loved the new episode of Weirdest Games Ever. Hope you are having a wonderful day. Oh, coolie wooly, you reminded me of the, the classic pun that is hashtag no, no, rug, no regrets. Um, I was struggling to think what to call today's stream, but you're there with your hoping TP doesn't regret playing this. I'll have to, I think it will be a two stream game, this one. So uh, next week, uh, hashtag no regrets will be the... <laughs> will be the title. Uh, thank you to Steven Skodas for the bits. I'm glad that you are, um, uh, that you enjoyed Weirdest Games Ever. Um, it is a Tuesday, which is very strange. Here I am in Ben Potter's place. Uh, ben is on holiday and I was off work yesterday, just uh, on, a, on a day's leave. So um, uh, it's worked out fairly well, actually. So I still get to do a stream today, uh, this week, I mean. Uh, which is good. Thank you to Plushy Labs Jennykin who um, subscribed mm -hmm. while we were on the going live page. Um, uh, subscribe via Prime for 29 months. Thank you very much indeed. Let, in fact, you know what? Let me give you a BWIP for that. Let me. Here it is. Here it is. BWIP. Uh, thank you very much for subscribing. Um, we've also got Crimson Dude subbed for uh, two months via Prime now. Wow, two months already. Well, thank you, Crimson Dude, for sticking around for two months and for. You know, taking a chance on subbing with us and staying with us for that time and still being with us now. Um, we got a first time chat from BBC Ident fan 101. Hey, I like BBC Ident's. Um, BBC Ident's are pretty, pretty great. Um, I remember, hey, I'm going to talk your language here, BBC Ident. I remember Christmas 
early 2000s maybe, they did a whole series of different idents that were based on the 12 days of Christmas. And I had a VHS recording of some bit of Christmas TV that happened that year. And uh, it, it had these five gold rings spinning around. Kind of like, it was like live action footage. I don't know if they were little ones or if they were giant hoops. And it was going like, five gold rings. And then it was like, hey, and now, whatever, Wallace and Gromit. So um, some classic idents out there. Uh, Deadline Minis, thanks for subscribing for 57 months. Um, uh, 57 months, that's insane. 57 month streak. Uh, 57, what even is time anymore? And TP, nice jumper, my dude. Hey, thank you. Normally, I, if it's a work day, which it is today, and it always is when I'm streaming, uh, or almost always, uh, I, I typically would wear a, a triple jump hoodie of some description. Uh, but my normal one is in the wash. And it's cold now. It's real proper cold outside. So I was like, hey, I need to put on some something else that's warm. I can't just go in my sports time jacket because our office uh, doesn't always have the heating on. And it's a bit contentious as to whether people want it on or not. Because some people sit right underneath the heater. And so they get really hot. They turn the heater off, I think. I don't know. I don't know if, if, they, if it's them or if it's someone else even. But uh, yeah, I sit by a window that I don't think is even necessarily double glazed. So um, I get very cold very quickly. So I was like, hey, need a warm thing. And uh, I think it's jumper time. It'll soon be Christmas jumper time. And I own, you know, like five, five or six Christmas jumpers so I can wear one a day um, at work. Uh, not that I then put them straight in the wash after one, one wear, but uh, yeah. So thank you, Dino Minis. Um, glad you liked the jumper. McPT94, after 31 months, I've run out of witty retorts for these. And there you are, 31 months subscribed. Thank you very much indeed. That is as many months as there are in the longest month, as there are days in the longest months. So some yeah. of those 31 months you've been subscribed been have 31 days in them. Days for me. I signed up for the $10 tier on Patreon and I'm loving main menu, rules boss, and after dark. Then today I shipped off my tat appeal box of delights, so hopefully it'll be oh with gosh. you shortly. A box of delights. That's the thing as well. It's almost it's also almost box of delights time of year, which is very exciting. Um TP, did you just accidentally reveal your Christmas stream is going to be festive BBC items? Sadly not, because I don't even know what year it was that those ones were on. Um it's just a kind of a nostalgic memory of mine that I had this VHS of probably something really good. It was probably like a Wallace and Gromit or uh, maybe like a, a movie that was just played at Christmas that year, um, you know, National Lampoons or something. And uh, yeah, just before they introduced it, it went, Oh God, Rose. Um, it was nice. Um, thank you, McPeaty 94 for being subbed. Dr. Goblin, 100 bits. I feel like I've seen a lot of you in, in the chat recently, Dr. Goblin. So not only have you had a triple jump filled few days, I feel triple jumper having a Dr. Goblin filled uh, few days too. And I, I mean that in the best possible way. Um, thank you very much for the bits. Thank you for signing up to the $10 tier on Patreon. I'm glad you're loving main menu. Um, and uh, you're sending a tat appeal box of delights as well. How exciting. Uh, for those who don't know, we have main menu and rules boss, uh, as well as early access to worst and weirdest games ever and being able to ask questions on the podcast and being able to join an exclusive room on our Discord and probably other stuff as well, occasional polls and things. That's a lot, all at just the $5 tier. Dr. Goblin is paying $10 for even more rewards, but you perhaps might want to check out uh, Main Menu. Let me tell you, the next episode of Main Menu is, we all think, possibly the best Main Menu you've ever done. Um, and I think it's one of my favorite videos we've ever made. Uh, so far on the channel and I'm not just maybe I shouldn't even be saying that because it sounds like I'm just trying to upsell the Patreon and I'm not it's a shame it's just basically uh, evidence of um, or not evidence of the fact but it, it uh, really uh, makes it worse the fact that if we did put that stuff on YouTube for everyone it wouldn't perform well enough for us to financially justify it which is a shame because it is the kind of content that I would really like everyone to be able to watch but um, you know it, it's um that's the way the game goes nowadays, unfortunately, here on, well not here on YouTube, we're on Twitch right now, but over on YouTube. So it's a shame, but um, hey, 
you know, people don't have to commit to $5 every month if they want. They can just spend $5 for one month and see what's on there, enjoy that, and perhaps not, not spend again for a little while if they can't do that. But So hopefully it is still in some way kind of accessible to almost everyone because, you know, even if you save up a dollar a month for five months, by the time, you know, if you, uh, in, in five months' time, there'll be a whole bunch of stuff for you to watch on there. You spend $5 and you can enjoy it, you know? So... Um, I know, I know the only true accessible thing, you know, accessible for everyone it would be to make it completely free. But then if it was completely free, it wouldn't be making enough money to justify its own existence. And unfortunately, it would then be accessible to no one because we wouldn't be able to do it anymore. It's a shame, but there it is. Um, Steven Skodas has gifted a sub to Clumboli. Um, 976 gift subs to the channel now. Thank you very much, Steven, and welcome, Clumboli. Um, just to add, actually, as well, that I'm talking about main menu and uh, Patreon and stuff, uh, we have had a really nice uptick in the number of people who have signed up and have stuck around. So uh, it really is making a difference. Uh, those of you ha who have come along and joined the Patreon to watch that exclusive content and just to support us, um, not only are you getting the benefits that you're getting, but we are also feeling the benefits of, of being able to, you know, actually do what we wanted to do, which was keep those shows alive. So it really has made a difference and it uh, means those shows can keep going, thanks to you. So well done, everyone. Um, here we go. Hello, TP and the Walrus Clan. Will you be returning to play Medieval in the near future? It was really bringing back the nostalgia of 10-year-old me getting that game for Christmas and playing it through for the first time, says Primeval259. Well, I did a poll for today's stream. Um, it was going to be more Medieval... Uh, Pandemonium on PS1, which I've never actually played properly. I've like picked it up and dabbled in it. I might even have a copy. I don't know, but I've, I've not like played it properly. Uh, have I got a co I can't see. It's right behind me. Uh, not on the shelf, I don't. But I've definitely been hands-on with it before. Uh, Pandemonium, Medieval, uh, Rugrats, which we're playing today, or Spider-Man, the 2002 Sam Raimi Spider-Man 1 Tobey Maguire game, which I played a lot as a kid and really enjoyed. I thought, as everyone's enjoying a bit of Spidey on PS5, let's take it back to basics. Uh, you know, let's let's play a bit of old Spider-Man, uh, but not the one that everyone remembers fondly, Spider-Man 2, the one that came before it. Uh, Spider-Man actually won that poll, but I realised... Potentially, next week or the week after, Ubisoft may or may not have released a Beyond Good and Evil Anniversary Edition, which is rumoured and seemingly leaked by a certification board, but has now been sort of retracted and hidden away again. And if you go on the PEGI or ESRB, whichever one it was, if you go on their website, uh, it's not there anymore. The thing that accidentally sort of showed it ahead of time. So I don't know if that's just because... They showed it by accident and they, they are normally in the habit of not showing stuff that hasn't been announced uh, or maybe they always do show stuff that as soon as it's been certified and the fact that it's been taken off means that maybe it's cancelled. <laughs> Who's to say? I don't know. But you think if it's been certified that means it's probably finished, isn't it? I don't know. Weird. So in uh, the next week or two there might be Beyond Good and Evil to play and uh, even if there isn't I did actually want to play it anyway to celebrate the anniversary so we'll just play the old version. So it seemed like Rugrats, which was a close second in the poll, was actually a good choice because um, it'll only take us one or maybe two streams to play through. Probably two. It's about a three or four hour game. Um, and then that frees us up in a fortnight's time to play some Beyond Good and Evil. Then when we finally got through Rugrats and Beyond Good and Evil, we'll go back to Spider-Man, which is what actually won the poll. Um, but to answer your question about Medieval... I don't know. People didn't vote for it. Um, so, you know, it's uh, this is Democracy Manifest, even though I didn't actually go with Spider-Man, which won. Um, so I kind of feel like, I don't know, uh, maybe people don't necessarily want to see more of that as, uh, as much as they want to see other things, which is a shame. And I'm glad you enjoyed it. I really am. But um, And I enjoyed it too, actually. Um, so I might play some more of it in my own time, potentially. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, no, no current plans to return to medieval, but that's not to say we never will. Um, so that is it for big intro chatter. Um, Stephen Scudders has gifted a sub though. Before we move on to BBC Ident Fan One Hundred and One, nine hundred and seventy-seven gift subs so far from Stephen on the channel. Fantastic, I'm, uh, and welcome to the Walrus Clan, BBC Ident Fan. Um, 
Uh, scrolling up. I'm sure. Hang on. Where is it? No. 1997, says BBC Iden fan. I actually got an answer. That sounds about right as well. Late 90s. Yeah. Um, there we go. Wow. Now I know. So I could actually probably Google it and find it. I mean, if I'd done a bit of Google, some good Googling, I probably could have found it without the year. But now, if I really wanted to, I could watch those 12 Days of Christmas items. Um, good. Well, that's that's a load off my mind. Let's play some Rugrats. Um, here we go. Oh, there's the emulator. And there it is. We're loading. TP in the house! Bring it on. American Walrus Clan members, don't forget to vote today! <gasps> Can you vote today, American Walrus Clan members? Do it. Vote. Make a difference. Do what you want to do. Um, thank you, Ed, for 41 months on a 41-month streak. That text basically says, hey, don't use ROMs and emulators. So that's basically what it's saying. Um, it is legal, though, if you own a copy, which I do. Here it is. Nickelodeon! There. There's Tommy. <laughs> Tommy Finster. No, Tommy Tommy Pickles, Chucky Finster. There they are, reflected. Will it go back on the shelf now? Yes. Creepy intro on the way. Here it is. I'm not even looking and I know it's there. Oh, haunting, but very crisp. It's good, this Duck Station emulator. I really like it. It's a very low... <laughs> low fidelity version of the... Uh, oh God! Of the cartoon intro. Da, da. THQ not Nordic, yeah. Pre Nordic. Oh god. I don't know if if I like the baby noises. Doing, 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 doing. What on earth is... what? Right. It's good, isn't it? Uh, nothing will beat that awful Rugrats game you and Ben played on Worst Games Ever a few years ago. A brilliant episode, says Stephen. Well, this is uh, made in the same engine, I think. Not sure what activities or training is. Does that just does that just let you? All oh, right, yeah. These are just some of the games that you play in the game itself. What is the training? Oh, God, training level. I don't think I've ever played this before in my entire life. And I've not played this game for. Make your way through the training level to earn the helpful skills that are needed to complete. Press and hold square. Look at all this stuff. Okay, I'm walking. Oh, I don't need to. I, I think I'll I'll pick it up. Uh, quick game. <laughs> yeah. Look at all this stuff. Um. Yeah. So the last time I played this game was actually to stream it. It's one of the first games I streamed, I think, on Triple Jump. Back in the days when we didn't have a, we didn't even have a consistent thumbnail style for the for the streams. It didn't have the little face in the corner. It didn't say triple jump live. I don't think. Where's my reptile puzzle? Wow. 
Where's my reptile puzzle? Do you like those pixelated facial features? Oh, here it is. But where's all the pieces inside? Oh, gosh. Either a lot of the puzzle pieces are missing, or it's the easiest puzzle ever. The pieces must be all over the house. Oh. It's okay, kids. Here, have a ball. I really don't like Stu's pixelated eyes making chocolate pudding. We'll find all you reptiles, even if we got to search the whole wide world. Was it when the streams were on YouTube sometimes? I can't even remember. Uh, so we've got one puzzle piece, and that's... It's a collectathon. this game. Well, it's not even a collectathon as such. You just get the pieces at the end of each level. You don't even have to find them. Um, search the house for objects that lead to levels and games. Press triangle near sparkling objects to start levels. You'll earn Tommy's missing puzzle pieces by finishing levels. Press circle to pick up and put down items that Tommy can play with or throw to spike. Press triangle to throw or use objects. We're in. Here we are. Can I go outside? Oh, I can. It's fun playing outside. It is. Hey, we're all we're all um, learning good moral lessons. Here's Spike. Let me do it for you. Look at that snoot. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like when. Uh, oh. If you um collect reptile bars, that's what those are. I think if you get like 10 of them or something, you get a, pu a puzzle piece. So you don't even have to complete all of the levels in the game to uh, to get to the, to, to find all the puzzle pieces. Oh, there's the bone. Yeah, I knew there was a bone. Yo, Spike. Get it. Yay, I did a happy dance. Okay, good. Bubbles! <laughs> Bubbles! Bubbles! <laughs> God, did you say it every time? Uh, that house looks like it's made out of skin, says Plushy Labs. It does, doesn't it? Um, what was that prompt I just got? What did that say? I wasn't supposed to... Normally, that when you get text on screen like that, it's because, um... Oh, there we go. Chucky's glasses. Oh, there we go. It's because of the umbrella. Yeah, I was going to say, um... The only time you get text on screen is when you're about to enter a level. And I was like, I didn't know there was a level... Popcorn. Mm, popcorn! Uh, instant on aisle seven. Mmm, popcorn! Oh, my God. Uh, golf. Ice cream mountain. Okay. Um, my reptile puzzle? Where is his reptile puzzle? That's what I want to know. Um, oh my god, camera, please. We can go down into the cellar, but we're not going to do that. Or basement, as they call it in Americorn. Um, Grandpa's teeth. It's a classic level. It's a little bit scary. J oh my god, he's doing all sorts of stuff. He's wandering around in circles. Okay, let's... um. Let's do one of the levels. Oh, which level should I do first? I'll do Grandpa's Teeth because that's a bit of an all-round. Please, Tommy. It's a bit of an all-rounder. It is a medium as well, but that's fine. Huh? Hmm. Not the teeth level, says Sprout Stuff. Some of you know. If you know, you know. And I know. Apparently, they actually sold reptile bars in certain stores in the U.S. Wouldn't surprise me. Sprouts, it's almost time for my potato salad. Pop, don't. Pop, you're scaring the children. Potato salad sticks to my teeth, so I'm taking them out. If you do, nobody else will be able to eat. Please, Pop, just stick to Jello molds. God. Our little secret, eh, I 
I can't pause the cutscenes because we're uh It's old games. Oh no. Spike's got the teeth. Oh god. Not very nice, is it? That um I'd like to think that when my dad is so old that grandpa's teeth back. No, Tommy. The park's so big, we might not fight him till we're grown up. Grandpa needs us, Chucky. Come on, we got to find Spike. Then they just... They don't even use the screwdriver that he keeps in his diaper. Enter the opening in the fence to find Grandpa's teeth or explore in the play area first. Press triangle near the playground equipment to play on them. If you have trouble in the maze, look for helpful arrows. But watch out for hungry geese. You have no bread. <laughs> what? <laughs> you have no bread. You shouldn't feed him bread anyway. Um, Are we lost? Yeah, Chucky's going to be saying a, lo a load of gubbins too. Oh my god, I'm taking damage walking into that. My god, that's my um my health meter. That. Uh, it's a little bit framey, isn't it? Come on, Chucky. Um, and that raw, raw sound isn't playing for long enough either. Yeah, I'd like to think that when my dad is so old that he can't eat potato salad without taking his teeth out, I'm not going to go, Dad, you're scaring everyone. Uh, you're scaring the kids. And if you eat the potato salad like that, then everyone else is going to be grossed out. So I want you to not eat it. Um, so we can use the play equipment if we want to, I think. Come on, Chucky. Hello? Let me go on the slide. There we go. It sure is. See Bennett one twelve uh, one two twelve is uh it says that forty two is one tenth of the sex number and a subscriber forty two months. You're absolutely right. Spike, here boy. Okay, I think in this maze the frame Which rate is better now? because we can't see all of the stuff. I think I mean to be fair it's it's rendering rendering a very sharp away. Oh god. I have no bread. Oh, it's A-posing over there. T-posing. What's it doing? Run away! Run away! Help, Tommy, help! Make him stop! Oh my god. This isn't a maze, it's a straight line. I can't even... Talk about a wild goose chase. Indeed. Oh, here we go. Look, it's an actual maze now. Oh no, talk Tommy, about a wild goose chase. Out! Tommy, look out! Don't leave me! <laughs> Someone earlier in the chat said Chucky was their favourite rug rat. Talk think, about a wild goose chase. I think Chucky's my favourite rug rat as well. Okay. Oh no. Talk about a wild goose chase. I don't remember the camera being this bad, to be honest, but uh Okay, there's a water fountain. It said look for arrows, didn't it? But uh I'm not sure there are any Don't arrows. Don't be scared, Chucky. Don't be as scared, Chucky. Wait for me, Tommy. I don't know, Tommy. I don't know, Tommy. There he is. <laughs> Sacrifice Chucky, suggests Hutchmaster. Oh, God.
Lucy B says, fun fact, Chucky is left-handed, and as a lefty, he has to be my favourite by default. Ride on Spike to chase the goose and save Chucky. Guide Spike safely through obstacles and press X to jump over benches and fences. I actually remember the episode where he was left-handed. They were drawing, weren't they? And Tommy was on his, on Chucky's left. And uh, they kept nudging each other as they were drawing with crayons because he was using his left hand. And then they were like, his parents were thinking about taking him to some kind of shrink. Because uh, um, he was a lefty. And, you know, we're talking about the, the 90s here where save you, it was still a little bit like, hmm, should you be left-handed? Is that okay? I'm a lefty as well. I'm left-handed. And so is my sister, which I think is... Well, you know, <laughs> statistically, yeah, it's unlikely. Unless there is a genetic component. I'm not sure if there's any evidence for that. It can't be that 10 reptile bars is, go, Spike, go. is a jigsaw piece, is it? Because I've already got five. I think it might be, actually. Don't stop! Oh, Spike, don't stop. I thought you meant the goose. <laughs> don't stop. It's sort of lovably wonky, this game. I don't know what it is about it, but I kind of love how rubbish it is. Everything looks a bit crap. Everything... Everything plays a bit strangely. Now we're going to save Chucky from the goose by using the left and right buttons to aim and try and go to kick pucks at the goose. Be sure to miss Chucky. Sorry, Chucky. Whoops. Sorry, Chucky. Look out, Chucky! Look out, Chucky! Oh no. Can I can I hit the reptile bar? I can. I did it. Don't stop! Don't stop! It's just like the disc game. TP has always looked a bit sinister. Yeah, I'm I'm a devil child. Your teeth come out and get lost, and sometimes big geese eat them. Good part is you could eat tomato salad forever. Tomato. Congratulations, you earned a puzzle piece. I remember that level being a lot longer than it than it turned out to be. Oh, we've got two puzzle pieces because we've got the first one from the cutscene at the beginning. Uh, does it go there? Hey, I did it. I did a puzzle designed for babies. Um, returning to Pickles' home. I personally love tomato salad, says Cooly Wooly. Hey, me too. To think how popular Rugrats was back in the day, Nickelodeon's longest running series, 12 years, until beaten by Spongebob, produced a trilogy of the uh, theatrical films, including the first non-Disney animated film to gross over $100 million in the US, plus a somewhat successful spin-off in All Grown Up, which I remember being all right, says Forgotten Media. Yeah, I never watched it, but I was aware of it, and it looked it looked quite good, actually, like, for, for what it was. And it was a good idea as well, I guess, because the kids who did grow up watching... Mmm, popcorn. Mmm, popcorn who grew up watching uh, the original Rugrats. You know, probably probably enjoyed All Grown Up. It's a bit like, you know, I mean, there's a, a bigger gap, but it's a bit like how um, Toy Story 3 partly targeted all the kids who were kind of going off to uni or had like maybe just left university or, you know, gone into a job if, if they weren't, you know, a, a, a uni going person. But you know, it was it was kind of like you were. Um, what's the kid called? Andy. It was very much a uh, hey. You, you, if you watched Toy Story one back in the day, you're this probably this age now. Room. This is my mummy and daddy's room. Oh dear. Let's not look in the drawers. Um, Toy Palace is a great level, but we're not going to play it yet. I'm not sure where all the. I can think of way more le- oh, this is a rubbish one, the mirror one. Oh, I think some of these levels we can't access yet. I think we unlock some of them later on, because the mirror should be- unless there's a mirror in a different room. 
The mirror should take us to one. There's Cynthia. Seven, vo seven voyages of Cynthia. Um, or is it the bathroom mirror, maybe? Oh, Circus Angelicus is a good one. We'll do that one. But yeah, I can think of other... There's like one where you have to like throw, throw a bottle of chocolate milk around. Oh, some of them are bonus levels, aren't they? Oh, there's the cookie race. That's a good one. Um, so I'm just going to check out the rest of the rooms and then we'll do cookie race, Circus Angelicus, then maybe we'll this go play some golf. Room. Oh, this is Grandpa's room. This is from outside space. Uh, okay, that's it. I do like a, a hub world. It's a bit of a scary bed. Can't sleep, clown will eat me, am I right? Um, there's his toy box. Oh god, look at this thing. His dad used to make a lot of this stuff, didn't he? I think in the basement there's a, a Mr. Friend, which is very scary. Oh my god, look at that picture of... T <laughs> look at that picture of Tommy up there. I don't really have a lot of camera control, I don't think. Um, can I make him look up? No. Well, hopefully you saw it. It's covered by the banner a little bit, but it's very creepy. Okay, let's do the cookie race. This is an easy one. The supermarket one is my favourite, says Hutchmaster. I do like the supermarket one. I like Circus Angelicus. There are my cookies now. As well. It's empty. But someone's baking more. And if you think you're getting any, forget it. Just try and beat me to the kitchen. Oh, this I'm thinking of the wrong I'm thinking of a different level, but I'll race Angelica down to the kitchen, no problem. Um beat Angelica to the finish while collecting the five cookies to earn a bonus reptile bars. Jump! Oh, I can't. If you do it at the right time, you can like jump down pretty much the entire staircase. Can't you go any faster than that? Okay, one more cookie. They've set up some bunting for this race. Our parents know that it's happening. If I get this cookie, I get a reptile bar. Ooh, racing babies is boring. Oh no, am I gonna lose? Oh god, I lost. Hooray! Those are my cookies! <laughs> he's, he's knackered. Returning to Pickles home, I lost everyone. I was beaten by this game designed for six year olds. How is this music worse, says Plushy Labs? I love this music. It's one of my favourite tracks in the game. It comes up multiple times as well in the other level that is cookie-themed that I thought this one was. Uh, I should be able to jump down the entire staircase if I do it right. Like that video of the dog. Have you seen that video of the dog that jumps down the stairs? It's a good video. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay, that was pretty good. Oh no, I left, I left a cookie behind. Fortunately, she does just hang around and taunt you, so it's all kind of academic until later in the race. There she is. The rubber banding. Okay. I'm not really sure I can get to this cookie and then back again and overtake her. Okay. Oh no. Is it possible to overtake her here? Oh no. How do I get that final cookie without her like overtaking me? I could I could definitely beat her because I'm overtaking her in the garden or even before the garden in like the living room. I'm overtaking her, but if I want to get the bonus reptile bar, which I kind of do. Even though I don't need to, because you can get all of the... that You only need reptile bars to get a bonus piece, but you can get that piece by just completing another level. There are more levels than than puzzle pieces. Um, I'll have one more go with trying to get the cookie. Okay, 
jump. You can't beat me! Those are my cookies! Okay, I'm taking the, the sort of the Formula One race car line here. I don't know if it's possible. It must be, but it feels like it's not. Okay. Oh! Yes! I've done it. Yay! I got it done cookies! Can you take a wider racing line for a faster exit? Kiss the apex on the corners. I appreciate all the advice. Four reptile bars? That's 11. I've already got a piece, I think. I think next time it um I actually get a real piece it's going to uh give me a bonus one or maybe you have to get 15 or 20 I don't know. Right. So that's cookie race. Let's do Circus Angelicus now, which is similarly kind of wonky but uh in an enjoyable way. Is it in here? No, that's Cynthia. Uh which room? This is my mummy and daddy's room. And God only knows what gets what goes on in here. I mean, Dill hasn't been conceived yet, so, um... <laughs> uh, circus Angelicus. You babies are gonna be in my circus! Yay! A circus! <laughs> I don't know, Angelica. I don't like circuses. All right, everybody, there's not gonna be any circus. Chucky doesn't want us to have one. But circuses is fun, Chucky. Don't you want us to have any fun, Chucky? Angelica, I, I changed to bye bye. Oh. I, I want to be in the circus. Oh, Chucky, the peer pressure. I do really like the concept of taking a cartoon and playing through levels based on each episode. Yeah, that's kind of what it is, Mr. Black. Now, in the Right, okay. Guide Spike over hurdles by pressing X. Collect 12 bones before time runs out to make Angelica happy enough to allow you to remove onto ring two. I believe Tommy is just standing in the middle of the ring walking around in circles. Yeah, he is. He's guiding me. So this uh, this first task is is not, you know wildly exciting but uh, we do a little bit of tricycle racing in a bit and then we like launch Chucky off of a seesaw Okay, fill in the race their trike around the path up the ramp. Press X to jump. Uh oh, here we go again. I'm going full speed. Wow, I remember this being a lot faster as a child. Oh, boy, I'm gonna do some napping today. Oh, don't forget that. All the teddies are watching us. Did I miss? Thank you! No. Thank you! And now, Ring Monster Angelica's baby circus is proud to present Chucky, the human candy ball! Uh, and now, Chucky, the human candy ball! Get out here, Chucky! I forgot what to do. Just sit there and wait for your cue. With my assistance, Chucky the Human Candy Ball will be launched from this platform to a safe landing in the Amazing Pile of Leaps. Oh God, <laughs> this can only go well. I'm gonna work. <laughs> um, triangle, triangle, triangle. I've got a bad feeling about this. Look out! 
Perfect. He really did it! What a showtopper! My circus is a complete success! I get to be a human candy ball next! No, I fell up, I do! I do, Lillian! Oh, you shoot me, Poopy! Lillian, I think you know. Oh my god, how did they get up there? I gotta stop working with babies. I just noticed Angelica has like an, an ass on her fringe, on her bangs. Next time we see Angelica, have a look at have a look for her her, her butt hair. No, not her butt hair. That's not what I meant. Her hair butt. No more cookies. This is the level I thought we were gonna play before, and it has the music in it again. Check out her fringe. Look! There's an ass! your cookies. No, Angelica. My mommy made them for us to eat. Put, uh, hey, give me those. So in this level, you run around and you throw the box before Angelica gets close. And at any point, you can press circle and they can eat them. Um, and what you can do is, like, just throw them and go nom 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 and, like, try and get the person who's holding it to eat as many as possible. But I enjoy playing this game by giving all of the babies an equal share. Um... So, Chucky. Eat it. Oh no, she got it. It's not very responsive. I was pressing try. Oh, now try again. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, oh god. Okay. Oh my god, she got it straight away. I don't feel well. We did our bestest. Oh no, is that it? I lost. <laughs> Never mind. Um But uh, yeah, it's quite I like I quite like that as a just as a, as a level design that you can just um uh, you know like throwing it and eating them when you've got them and uh, it works quite well it's fun well it works quite well if it actually responds to a triangle button press but oh, was that a reptile bar yes behind the bin delicious okay so let's do some golf this is a classic level. I haven't golfed in ages. I'm taking the kids for ice cream, Deed. <laughs> this is gonna be great. I'll have to remember that one. When I'm all grown up and I have a child and I wanna go, you know, to the arcade or something. I'm taking the kids for ice cream. At the end of this majestic golf course stands Ice Cream Mountain. That's where I'm going to get a hole-in-one and win you kids so much ice cream, you'll be eating until you're grown-ups. So what if it's never been done before? We just got to get the balls in the holes, and we'll get a whole mountain of ice cream. If we all do some, we'll be done in no time. But you don't, um, I don't think you have to get a hole in one to actually win Ice Cream Mountain at the end, which is kind of weird. But, uh, right, triangle to start the golf golf meter, the golfometer. The meter will move up and down, press triangle then when it's moved to your desired strength. If the number of swings is higher than the par, you will have to try the hole again. Maybe the last one is par one, I don't know. Um, I like a bit of video game golf, actually, or certainly like mini golf, crazy golf. It is harder than it looks, you're right. Oh god, it's also very sensitive. Okay. Triangle, was it? I sort of want it to be between year supply of nothing. Nothing. Um I don't know. That much? See, it wasn't straight. I definitely used to get hole in one on this level when I was a kid. Okay, there we 
don't you? Instead of ice cream, how about a nice plastic spider? Nah, I didn't think so. We'll hear that one shortly, I'm sure. Um, but when we get to Ice Cream Mountain at the end of this golf course, what the hell is that? Look at that clown. That's awful. Um... You want a year supply of nothing. That's, that's the man who owns the golf course, I think. Um, when we get to the end of the uh, golf course, we will discover that... Um, oh, no. I can do this. Yeah. I think... Sure I can. The ice cream mountain is actually a giant ice cream this mountain. Looks, just out in it looks impossible. Just out in the sunshine. Um God, I can just hear robots making noise behind me. <laughs> this is kind of fun. <laughs> Ice Cream Mountain Hole 3. Stu Pickle's life expectancy doesn't look like it's super high, though. No, you're right, Crimson Dude. He doesn't look well. Oh, this is a bit of a, a bit of a lame one, because the, the door on this castle goes up and down. But look, it gets stopped by the curb, so what's the point? Look at this. Ice Cream Mountain, here I come! I think the ball goes underneath it anyway, so, uh... You don't want all that ice cream anyway. Boy, talk about phlegm. Talk about what? Phlegm? What did he say? Just looking for reptile bars. <laughs> hey, this is almost fun! Because you can actually, um... Uh, there are there are reptile bars in this golf course, which is fun. You know, like that's that's a nice little touch that there's a little bit of Ice cream mountain, here shut I up, a little bit of exploring to do um, if you want to do it. Ice cream mountain, here I come. Uh huh. Right. Let's give it full welly, full beans. <gasps> is it a hole in one? Oh, we've got a reptile bar. I'm missing out on reptile bars by not getting holes in one. Talk about flam. Um, come on. Oh, we're on the soap level. The bathroom. Where's that ice cream anyways? Good question. Bubbles. Want some ice cream? Psych. Psych. Soap. Happy... Happy teeth. Where's that ice cream anyways? It's literally sitting out in the sun, Phil. I don't think you necessarily want to... Where's that ice cream anyways? Um... Pro gamer, first try solo I know, right? Doing a great job. Oh, was there a reptile? There. there is. It's an officially licensed golf course. Did somebody say ice cream? Oh, I think I might. Oh, is it possible to hit the. Did somebody say ice cream? Hit the blades on this one? No, I don't think it is. Okay. Reptile bar anywhere? No. You don't want all yes. that ice cream anyway. Boy, talk about phlegm. Talk about phlegm. Oh, there we go. So now, because I've got however many puzzle pieces, it didn't say. Uh, 15 was that? I got a, um... Because uh, I got, uh, sorry, uh, that many um, reptile bars. I got a puzzle piece. Oh, I've got to do some geometry here. Yeah, maybe if I hit it right there. Mm, I'm going to eat the whole ice cream man in myself. Oh, no. Almost. Oh! Oh, oh come on. It's all right. It's par five. 
Mascot 5, subbed for 43 months. I didn't know Ashton voiced Lil in this game. It is a little bit BB Eagle. Um, thank you, Mascot, for subscribing. We're in space. Who made up this game anyways? Um, Mary Golf, that was her name. Lovely lady. Oh no, it's coming back. I was trying to ride the wave. Anyway, it should be enough to get me to the end. Get the ice cream mountain if it takes till nap time. Uh, oh, actually, if I hold square, oh, it lets me do a bit of finesse. Just, just realised that. I mean, a small amount of finesse, but yeah, what a shame. Go, little ball, go! Oh, come on. Now, where's that ice cream? There we go, that's a three. We wish you a merry golf. It was, that was the one, the only uh, place not corrupted by capitalism. <sighs> It's the reptile level. Where, where is reptile? Mm, 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 mm. I think there's a reptile bar in this one. Come again soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um. Okay. That ice cream mountain sure looks nummy. Sure looks nummy. It sure, it sure does. Num nums. That is also an Ashton Matthewsism. You don't want all that ice cream anyway. Oh, it looks Boy, talk about phlegm. Looks like reptiles talking. Why does he keep saying the phlegm line? I want him to say, "How about a nice plastic spider?" <laughs> this is kind of fun. Oh no! I overshot. I really gotta change that free ice cream policy. <laughs> Oh, there's not. I thought there was a, uh, a reptile bar here. There's not. Reptile is pretty cool. It's weird. You'd think like this is hard. I I don't remember being a kid and there being any kind of um, child-friendly sort of kaiju character. I guess there was there was Godzilla and Godzuki. They did do a Godzilla. Cartoon at one point with a baby Godzilla in it. Oh, this is a this is definitely a level with um or a hole with a a bar. And it's kind of creepy um because we can go into the want some ice cream? Psych. We can go into the pyramid and there's a Mr. Friend down here wrapped up in bandages, which is not really. Okay, here's a bar. I can do this. Oh, there's more bars. Oh, there's loads. Can hear him. You want a year's supply of nothing. Nothing. <laughs> hey, this is almost fun. It is almost fun. I can't see anything. Oh my god, I think he's here. Oh, there he is. I can do this. Can he hurt me? No, he can just be creepy. Look at that. Horrid. Anyway, here we go. Oh, jeez. Camera's doing its very best. So I'm turning left every time I go around a corner, so I should be able to navigate the whole maze doing this. Ice cream mountain, here I come. No. You really do need to use the old uh, hug the left wall technique in this game because camera spins around that much. You don't even know which levels, which corners you've been round. Oh, there's, oh, is there an island in it? I think that breaks the system if there's an island. Oh, no, maybe not. I think... I don't think I've been down here. Okay, I think I think that's it. I think I've got them all. I can do this. There you go, not many um, 
mini golf games have that in them, do they? Wandering down into a pyramid, finding it. Oh, Instead of ice cream, how about a nice plastic spider? The Rugrats are on the. I didn't think so. There you go. He said the spider line. The Rugrats are on the pillars. That's a bit weird. They've come to a. How weird would that be if you brought your babies to a a, a kids golf you don't want course? All that ice cream anyway. Boy, talk about phlegm. And he found that the weird phlegm man who owns it has put pictures of your children on the Egyptian course. That'd be very weird. Oops, no, that seemed a bit... There's definitely an input delay there. I did exactly what I've been doing the whole time, but it just sort of held on by half a second. Um, I suppose Power Rangers was Mecha and kaiju -y. Yeah, I suppose it was a little bit kaiju -y. It was certainly mecha e, but uh, yeah, there were some organic uh, giant enemies to fight as well as... Um... But, you know, again, that's that's a Japanese import, isn't it? I think. Even the, uh, the sort of the westernized version Come used a lot of the I think it used like footage from the Japanese game and they just uh, from, from the Japanese version and they just reshot the um all the kind of conversational mask off stuff with um a different cast is that right I might be making that up or well I'm not I say making it up I'm just kind of assuming that that's the case they didn't really use to change that free ice cream policy they didn't use english speaking like Western actors, did they? In or is it not? That is true. Yeah, I thought it was. I think I have actually heard that somewhere. So uh, that's uh, 2007 Honda Accord sedan version V6 in the chat there. Thank you. Um, but yeah, other. Th oh, here we go. So this is Ice Cream Mountain. Um, it's just a giant mountain of ice cream, just in a forest outside and we were told in the intro that Instead of ice cream, how about a nice plastic spider? You only win the ice cream think so. if you get a hole in one. So let's see what happens. Oh come who on. Made up this game anyway? Yeah, who did make up this game anyways? You'd think there'd be some reptile bars on this hole because it's like candy themed, but no. Okay, so let's see what happens. Do I win you the ice cream? Yeah, apparently. We did it! Yay! Reach out, kids. Now I'm gonna get you all the ice cream you can eat. Because it's free. It's free. I <laughs> love that line. Because it's free. That's the only time I'm getting you guys ice cream. Um Hey, we're really building this puzzle, guys. Oops, no, that's the wrong place. He did say though, the the weird phlegm. Plastic Spider-Man. Oh, Mirrorland. Oh, I didn't know it was a bonus level. Oh, Mirrorland's kind of creepy. Oh, no, not... I'm thinking of the spooky... There's a different one. Mirrorland is... This amazing antique mirror I got at Golden it's got the spooky music, but it's... um. She said to her baby. Uh-oh. <laughs> Everything's downside up. I must be in Mirrorland. I got to get up to the mirror so I can go through it and get back to Norman. Get back to Norman. Good job, Spike. If I can get enough balloons, I'll float up to the mirror. Uh, or is it down? Uh, I don't know, but I better start looking. Uh-huh. Um, found the six purple question. Okay, yeah. I got to get up to that mirror. Or is it down? Or is it down? Um... Yeah, he did say though, the man, I gotta change that free ice cream policy. So maybe hey, that it worked. I never thought it'd be hard to get on the floor. Um Yeah, he said I gotta change that free ice cream policy. So maybe he made it so that you um you get free ice cream for uh getting a hole in two. Fine. This is a weird level choice because although it's kind of interesting to have, you know, the whole world flipped upside down. It actually just means that all the rooms are empty. And they've all got stuff on the ceiling, but you know, there's just there's nothing going on down here. It is kind of fun when you go downstairs, though, or up, or is it up? Okay, nothing in here. Is that a Magikarp? It's a fish with a tie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not, 
not my favourite level, Mirrorland. It's kind of just busy work. It's not difficult. Puzzle piece soon. Okay, that's two. Four more to go. Let's go down slash up the stairs. The one interest sort of semi interesting moment in <laughs> in this level. If I can even find the stairs, are they, are they this way? Yes. Have I been in this room? Is that the bathroom? No. What? Hello. This camera. I do not remember being so awful, but it is. It is bad. This is my mummy and daddy's room. Oh yeah, this is where we started. So have I been in, I feel like there's a one room I've not been in. Have I been in here? Yeah, it must have been. I'm stuck. There we go. Right, down the stairs. Oh, weird. I'm going up and now I'm downstairs. There you go, that was it. That was the moment. Oh, there's actually something in this room. It's a light fitting on the floor. Oh, we can go into the cellar as well. Oh look, on the, on that um, blueprint up there, it's the like the Reptar machine that they drive in, Rugra in the Rugrats movie. Because uh, for those who don't know or who didn't watch this show or don't remember, um, Stu Pickles, Tommy's dad, was a um, kind of an inventor. I don't know if it was specifically toys or, or sort of things in general. He definitely did make some toys, but um, yeah. And uh, you know, invariably they would sort of go wrong or wouldn't be picked up by investors. He's lost control of his life. Reptar I'm phasing through the wall. I'd be interested to see what the speed run uh, of this game is. If there's some, if there's any like fun out of bounds stuff that people can do, it wouldn't surprise me. It doesn't feel very solid. This game. It kind of feels like it's probably possible to clip through every surface if you just do the right button inputs. Um, right. I watched Rules Boss with my girlfriend yesterday, uh, and it was awesome. We laughed so much. Says Zoe. Uh, 0509. Hey, I'm glad to hear it. Glad you enjoyed it. I'm always a bit more nervous about Rules Boss. I think Main Menu just makes itself instantly funny without any effort. Um, but Rules Boss, you know, you have to work at it a bit more. But Kieran did a really good job of editing it, I thought. Um, you know, we used to um, put out Rules Boss with... When I say minimal editing, I don't mean intentionally, like we're going, oh, I'm not going to edit this at all, I'm not going to bother. Uh, we just, you know, we kind of just cut it together like a kind of a... Almost like, you know, a Let's Play that you might see on on a different... On, on, on other gaming channels, but... Um, but, uh... Um, but uh, now the most recent one was a bit more like a worst games ever. It had some like silly, silly cutaways and stuff, which was fun. Okay, where's the last box? Living room, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Or have I just done the living room? No, here it is. I think I have to go all the way back upstairs. See, this level's just a bit slow, isn't it? Slows things down. As I say, there are more levels than there are reptile bars, if, or uh, puzzle pieces, if you're collecting reptile bars as you go. And uh, this is one I would definitely choose to skip if I could. In fact, I probably can. I bet you can just quit level, because it's a bonus. If I thought about it <laughs> at the start, maybe I would have done that, but whatever. Um, 
Oh, good. I don't have to go back upstairs. That's good. Someone was four seconds off the world record six days ago. Speedrunning is active, says Tide Author Danny. Wow. Speedrun is 14 minutes 30. I guess that's just how fast can you get... Um, how fast can you complete the puzzle rather than 100% every level? Although there might be some um, different categories. Um, in fact, I feel like I might have even seen a speedrun of this on like one of the GDQs or something. Because I'm sure I've seen someone play one of the... the cookie throwing levels really quickly um, where they just one one baby absolutely chows down on the whole lot um, this is my mommy and daddy's room rather than sharing it with the others which is what as I say it's what I like to do so we've done Circus Angelicus I'm going to sort of oh my god I'm going to try and kind of clear out the, the upstairs now unless there are some that it's I don't want to play room. it's my room yeah yeah it's 420. It's 420. Here are some guys. baby jokes. Let's hope Robot Lady copes with the delivery. Ha ha ha. A friend asked Very me if she should have a baby after 40. I said no. 40 babies are enough. Hee hee hee. Why did a man bring his pregnant this is wife for some reason? Wrong. She told him to pick up a baby monitor. Hi -hee. Did you hear the joke about Sean Connery's brother's newborn daughter? It's a little niche. Ho ho ho. Very good. How warm is a baby at birth? Room temperature. Ha ooh ooh. Moggy da 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 da. Oh my god. B B B B B B B mirror B B B B B B B wet da B B B B B B B ice cream mountain B B B B B B B ra B B B B B T F B B B B search for reptile blaze it. Indeed. Thank you everyone for blazing it there. It's 420, that's the sex number. Um so we've got a couple of levels upstairs still that we can do, but I'm not gonna do them right now. Um We've got this one, which is uh, a fun one. Toy Palace. I like Toy Palace and the supermarket yeah. level. They're both really good. Happy 420 BBBB blazed my dude's lord 16 dab. Oh, oh. The babies are loose. Oh, There's oh. <laughs> what? What do you call a group of baby soldiers? An infant. Oh, I see that. Jump the whole stairs. Mm, what do you call a group of baby garbage bins? A litter. Hi, E. Where do baby ghosts go during the day? The day scare. Ho, ho, ho. Who held the baby octopus for ransom? Squidnappers. Ha -oo -oo. Squidnappers. Where do baby fish sleep? In a bay signet. Hi ho. Moggy right on time. Can we just hear OO again? Hang on, let's hear that. Have we discovered a new quirk of the robot lady? OO. Yeah. Happy 420 BBBB blaze it, my dude's lord 16 dab. Oh, oh, the babies are loose. <laughs> That's very odd. Why does she say it like that? Um, thank you to Lobrotovich for the 100 bits, Steven Skodes for the 100 bits, and Trowling Badger for the 100 bits. Thank you all for blazing it. Thank you for the good jokes, mods. Oh, oh. It's fun playing outside. Anyone who wants to recreate OO in a future donation, remember, sometimes it really matters how you format it. So I think you're going to have to, it's going to have to be at the start of a sentence, O space O comma. I'm just trying to save you on, uh, on bits there in case you spend actual money and then discover that it doesn't work. Where's my reptile puzzle? Where is your reptile puzzle? That's what I want to know. Hey, guys. Here's Wonderwall. Yeah. Oh, oh, robot lady. She didn't quite do it the same way there. Hang on. Let me shut the game up for a minute. Let's hear the difference. Yeah. Happy 420 BBBB blaze it, my dude's Lord 16 dab. Oh, oh. Okay. Hello? I've just told it to do Stevens again. Yeah. Oh, oh, robot lady. Yeah, see, that's not quite the same. I don't know if the uppercase O at the start makes a difference, or if it has to come after a Lord 16 dab. Very strange. Oh, oh, well, I'm not really yeah. sure which level... Oh, oh, robot lady. That's, uh, that's 
a delayed attempt to replay it from me. I did press it ages ago. Uh, instant on aisle seven. That's a good one. I'm not really sure which level to go for now. Let's let's do instant on aisle seven because that's a, that's a good level. Um, Stephen, thank you for the bits. Oh no, not fudgy dingling bars. And people really uh, kind of have a go at Grandpa all the time, don't they? Now this level, I believe, has sort of branching paths, and depending on what you do and which way you go, it plays out slightly differently. Think of next. Now let's go get some fudgy dingling barge. Oh no. I guess to find that reptar cereal. Was I the only one who was scared the babies were gonna get into mortal danger with grandpa? says Slow Play May. I mean, uh as evidenced by this cutscene, they are now in danger once again. Um If your dingaling is fudgy, see a doctor, suggests Cooley Wooly. Indeed. Letitia Lemon says this game was one of the first games I ever owned. So much nostalgia. It's good, isn't it? Me too. Work your way to the back of the grocery store to help Tommy find the reptile cereal. Reptile posters will help you find your way. Press square while yeah. walking to pass safely over slippery oh, O's. My O's are so O. Woe with the O's. I can only O O so much. O O. The dingalings are all gone. Thank you, Dr. Goblin, for the 100 bits. She's still not quite saying it the same way as Lord Brotter. It's more oh, oh in, yeah. in this one. Happy 420 BBBB blazing my dude's Lord 16 dab. Oh, oh, the babies are loose. She doesn't, she doesn't say it the same way. I think it needs to be a, a Lord 16 dab, an oh, oh, comma, the babies are loose. Or, I don't know. I don't know exactly what the... Criteria are. Clean up in the soda department. Bring a bucket. Oh god. Bring a bucket. We still enjoying the music? I am. Oh, baby magazine. Oh, do you remember the 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 um the sort of the guru, the parenting guru that Dee Dee was obsessed with, who was in like the baby books and stuff? He was called I believe he was called Lipshits, which I can say because it was spelt presumably something like S C H I T Z. Um, Lipshits. I'm gonna keep saying it till the mods ban me. Um, that one didn't have the reverb. Um, Yeah. This is a test. Blaze it, my dude's lord. 16 dab. Oh, oh. It's still not it. Thank you to everyone who's spending actual money here to do to do various bits of important testing. But there's something about Lord Brotovich's <laughs> specific message that made her go up on the first O. Oh. oh, oh. If I touch those balloons, that will teleport me to later on in the level. Which I don't want to do just yet. I want to explore this, so I've got to walk carefully on the ice. Produce. Mm, those look yummy. Larry, Steve, clean up in the bakery department. What a mess! Ooh. I feel like a bunny rabbit set with a diapy. I also feel like a, a bunny rabbit set with a diapy. Um, anything in the middle? No, just a cookie over here. Oh, 
go! Okay, go do it all again. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think the balloons also take you here. Watch out for Larry and Steve. Keep them away by pressing triangle. It's basically an RPG now, this game, because you can either grab the balloons or ride on the trolley, and who knows where you'll end up. So many choices. It's like Fable. If you plant an acorn in this game, a tree will grow there later on. Um... Watch out for Larry and Steve. Keep them away by pressing triangle to toss pies uh, and uh, the left and right buttons to aim Tommy. Well, Brozovic has just um, subscribed. Um, oh, oh, I know Robot League doesn't read it. Resub time as well. Of course, during a Tiny Peter stream, of course. I managed to send out my tap today. Now it only has to arrive in time. But I'm optimistic about that. Maybe. Well, it'll arrive at your office at some point. Thank you very much, Lord Brozovic. That's very exciting. Thank you to everyone who sent tats so far. Um, we, we can't wait to open it all. Um, so this is Larry and Steve. Yeah. Lord 16 Dab. Oh, oh, the babies have set the juice loose about this hoose. Oh, I think that was it. I think we, something about that made it correct. Let's hear it again. Yeah. Lord 16 Dab. Oh, oh. The babies have set the juice loose about this hoose. See that compared to, uh, for example, this one. If it'll play, it might take a while. I pressed it. Yeah. This is a test. Blaze it, my dudes, Lord. 16 dab. Oh, oh. Yeah, see, that's different. That is different. It's something about Lord 16 dab, full stop, oh, oh, comma, and then some stuff. I think... <laughs> Very strange. I sent Mikey bird seeds. Um, so let me chuck a pie at that reptile bar. No way, man. No way, man. I used to kind of really like the way that the, the pies crumble when you hit them. Um, oh, look at the splat. You get him. How many pies can I splat in this game? Hey. Before it, uh gets rid of old ones. There you go, that many. Got him. No, melons. Oh God! Your turn, dude. No way! Hey man, I cleaned up the sodas. Well, I just mopped up the baby powder. Forget you. Forget you too, man. Hey, it worked. Forget you. Whoa, flip you. Watch out for pinchy things. Lobsters on the loose. Unopened cans may be used to tame wild lobsters, but open cans will make Tommy cry. Oh God, is it because they're sharp? Press circle to pick up cans and press triangle to throw them at the lobsters. Get around the lobsters and make your way to the soapy area. Okay. Oh, look at this confection. Confectionary. Um. Reptile bar. I'm definitely finding reptile bars here that I do not remember finding in the original game. Or, the, you know, the, when I used to play it when I was a kid. In the original game. Yeah, when are they going to remake this? That's what I want to know. Fully remade from the ground up. It's not going to happen, and rightly so. Larry, Steve, clean up on aisle seven. I need one of you. Okay, well, it says to go that way, according to the poster, so I'm going to go this way. Oh, nothing. Oh, that's where I came from, look. The fruit. Um, hey, I'm just here for fudgy dingling bars. Lobsters. Lobsters. Got it. Okay, so there's that way, and there's this way.
Does the lobster have a little snorkel? Oh, she's got a, a singular antenna. Larry, Steve, clean up in the deli. Beware of mayonnaise. Oh no. <laughs> that's um that's a sort of a life lesson really. We should we should all be Oh my god. It's horrid in here. We should all be aware of mayonnaise. I mean, hey, I like mayo, don't get me wrong, but you've got to be careful around it. Climb, Tommy. Oh my god, you can definitely preserve a lot of momentum in this game. I bet the speedrunners go mad for that kind of thing. Um, okay, there we go. I've only climbed up here so I can get the cookie, because I've lost a fair bit of health. Oh no, oh, oh god. Okay. I think will this lead back to the room Did I, I do okay. that? Did I do that? Okay, this is the room I was in before that I turned away from. Let's climb up the ice. Is it slippy? Larry, clean up no. in the dairy department and no crying, please. And no what? No crying. I'm kicking fish everywhere. Right, okay, that's fine. I've got a reptile bar. Fish. Fli flish. What? <laughs> flish? Save big. Do, 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 do. Bye now. I'm feeling kind of jumpy. I'm gonna make it! Uh, if I don't fall down. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh no, I'm slipping. You gotta walk real slow on the... on the bubbles. This is the speed you have to walk if you don't want to fall over. If you let go of square, sometimes you Larry, fall. Steve, clean up in the detergent department. Uh, just add water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. It's going well. Why in the um, the spilled soap area is it playing the Egyptian music? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Oh. The momentum in this game is is very odd. Um, blast off. Oh, Larry and Steve, they they have a tough time. Don't work in retail, guys, if you can help it. I've worked in retail. Steve, clean up in the produce department. Toilet. Toilet? Is, it, is that say, does that say roll underneath? Underneath? Or it looks like not. Toilet plus not. I don't know. Um, yeah, I bet a lot of you have worked in retail, even if you aren't in retail now. I have. It's one of those jobs, isn't it? That uh, it's a, it's a good entry level job for people for their first first job ever, kind of thing. Anyone ever worked in retail and enjoyed it? Anyone currently working in retail and enjoying it? No, the eggs are just for some reason flying off the shelves. Naughty eggies. Yeah, naughty eggies. And Milk. Me without my bottle. And me without my bottle. This milk's gone bad. Oh, the milk's Please gone bad. There are watermelons oh. Everywhere. oh god. See, I do like this level for uh, you know, there's some interesting obstacles and you know, you get the, the little mini-game halfway through where you throw the pies and stuff. Oh, now there's a boss fight. An enormous I lobster. I, I have found it. What are you talking about? It's right there. To climb up there and push that button. Okay. Circle to pick up cans, triangle to throw them at the lobsters. You mean old lobsters aren't gonna stop me. Uh-oh. Pinchy things. So this blue lobster will stop you. It's pretty creepy. I'm not, I'm not sure if I can kill it. Can I kill it? 
Or do I just have to platform? Platform like up and... For it's like bowling for blobsters. It is! I think I have to kill it. That'll show you! Going well. Charlie Von Karma says, I'm oh a god, I absolutely love this game so much. This was the first ever game I played and completed. A lot of us have uh, been saying it's it was the first game we played or an early, you know, a game we played early on. Oh, that's it. You, you can just stun it. Yeah, I forgot about that. There's no health bar. You just whack it. And then it stops tracking you, I think. I think, like, briefly. I think that's it. Oh, I got it. There we go. So then you climb up here. Tommy, please. I genuinely think everybody should have to work at least one Christmas in high street retail. Yeah, I did that. A couple of years I've, I've worked Christmas. I worked in a supermarket at Christmas. In the, the fruit and vegetable oh. section, no less. Which is, uh, you know, Help! everyone wants fruit and veg at Christmas, sprouts, etc. Right, there we go. Okay, we're up now. It's just hard to get on that first Help! ledge. Help, he says. Oh my god! Yeah. Huh. How'd you get down there, Scott? Yeah, well, never mind that. Let's go. Oh, I didn't get my cereal. Giant lobster to the grinder. Oh, no. I enjoy my retail job, but I've only ever worked in clothes. I couldn't do a supermarket, says Charlie Von Karma. Yeah, I've done a supermarket and I've done what was largely a, a clothes shop. I, um, when I was a... Uh, when I was in sixth form, I um, which for for those outside of countries that use that phrase is um, the the two years that you do after compulsory school in the UK. It's like I think it's similar to is no, it's not the same as college, uh, like American college. I don't think. Where's um, my reptile puzzle? Anyway, it's like it's age sixteen to eighteen education, high kind of further education. Um, or higher, I don't know what higher or further education is, what the difference is. But uh, I, I volunteered initially in a, um, a charity shop, a thrift store. Um, but uh, I was only there for six months and then they said, um, Hi, will you, um, the manager's leaving, can we hire you please? And I was like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, all right, thanks. What? Why, what? <laughs> and they did. Which was um, mm, popcorn. kind of stressful, but uh, nice to be offered a, a managerial position at age 17. So, uh, yeah, that went pretty well. But it was a bit of a nightmare because, unfortunately, if you work in a charity shop, as those of you who uh, have done so will know, a lot of the staff uh, is voluntary, which means that someone can ring you uh, or not even, not even contact you, but if you're lucky, they'll contact you on the day and say, Ah, uh, yeah, we're, uh, I'm not coming in today, sorry. And then you're on your own. All day. That's true. Take off your glasses. Extra eyes is no fair. Um, this is based on an episode that I seem to remember, but um, where, you know, in the episode they took his glasses off and he couldn't see. But in this level, even though they've taken... Ready, six, and a Ready or not, here I come. 
Look at him. Oh, I wish I had my glasses. It's a good face. Uh, but in this level, there is no consequence to the fact they've taken his glasses off. You'd think they might make it difficult to walk or see or something, but no, they don't. Um, got some first-time chatters, people enjoying this game. Cyrus652 says, <sighs> Reptar. I haven't heard that name in years. Uh, and... A Spacesaurus Rex says, I worked at Walmart for a summer. Luckily, I was gone long before Black Friday. Oh my god, yeah. Imagine working at Walmart Black Friday. Bad. Uh, that happens at my work and they're not even volunteers, says Charlie Von Karma. I mean, yeah, I, can, I imagine it probably does. Oh, look at these reptile bars. One there, one here. So now we just, we're playing Hide and Go Peek. Oh my god. Um, so you just have to... Is that you, Phil? So you just have to find yeah. him, tag him. You know the thing about Chucky, he's got lifeless eyes, black Won't eyes, like a doll's me? eyes. <laughs> when he comes at you, doesn't seem to be living, until he bites you. Then you hear the kick it and the hollering. Never gonna find the ocean turns red. <laughs> lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eyes. That was all improvised, wasn't it, I think? That speech. I'm sure I've read that somewhere. Um, I believe... So, I, I'm pretty sure now, actually, that I have... Shut up. <laughs> I think I have actually seen a speedrun of this game, because I think... There's an element of RNG, as they call it, in the... Uh, um, will you just shut up for one minute? Let me speak. My God. Um, I think I have seen a speedrun of this before, because... I think there's a bit of RNG in this level, in that, like, they can be hidden in different places. Um, and... You know, people who are speedrunning this game sort of hope that that they're well, it's really raining, but I don't see any cats or dogs falling out of the sky. Very good. Um, so the you know the the speedrunners, I think they hope that they're hidden in a certain location or you know that whatever like the closest one is to the to the finish line. Is that you, Phil? Looks to me, unless they're all in the three back rooms of the upstairs, I think it might only be generating one bit. There's Tommy. Generating one baby per... Is everybody? Per turn, yeah. I think I've got to search the house each time. Because I've been in every room now, and I've only found Tommy. So I think we find Tommy. So many reptile bars. Um. And then once we've got Tommy and made it to. We play hide and go help Chucky. <laughs> oh, no, they're all in here. What? What on earth? That's very odd. All three of them are hiding in this room. I wonder if they'll be uh, moved somewhere else when I um, race Tommy back, because it plays a little cutscene when he gets to the playpen, but uh, they definitely um, can be in different places around the uh, around the house. This is weird. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Right, tag. Tag! That's one of the playpens are Oops. right Oh my god, the camera. I all I... Please! All I did was press down on the oh, thumbstick. The part. Oh my god. Jesus. Well, I've lost. Because he ran around in, a, in two circles. I got it here first, so I get to hide again. I don't think I can do this. Yes, I can. Just need to account for the fact that the camera will turn you round and round and round in circles. I pressed down on the thumbstick and he did two laps of the room. <laughs> Blue, 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 blue. 
So let's see if Phil and Lil are both in here still. They are. I think that's just completely random. Okay, we're off to a much better start now. So Tommy's hiding somewhere. Yes. Good stair jump there. If you don't do a good stair jump from the top, it's kind of tricky to then get into the, the right rhythm. That was easy. Because in order to get a big, long jump in this game, you have to be running. Um, but if you're trying to run while on the stairs, he tries to do an animation of going down each step. So in order to get the run up to do the big jump, it's kind of tricky because he's going to... By the time you're pressing X, he's already going to be climbing down to the next step. So um, you really have to try and do it from the top and do it in one. Right, so we can get Phil. And then we have to find Tommy again. And then... I've not seen Angelica, but maybe she doesn't spawn until the end. Oh, actually, no, I don't think... Oh, no, it's doing it again. I don't think Angelica's hiding. Well, she might... Canonically, she is. She's currently hidden. But I don't think we have to find her, because I remember what happens in the, the ending cutscene. Maybe we still have to find her. But she might not spawn until we've got the other three. Sorry, gotta run! The lifeless eyes of Lil. That was easy. Aw, oh, nuts. Nuts? Should a Nickelodeon character be saying that? Right, so Tommy could be anywhere. So let me just search the kitchen again. Because he might not even be upstairs. Where are you guys? Okay, not in here. Did he in the snug? No, no. I wish I had my glasses. Uh, okay, he could well be upstairs then. Or he might be in the basement. Oh no, the door's shut. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Is it? You're mostly complaining, Chucky. Everybody? This game sold over 1.5 million copies, says Forgotten Media. Well, that's good to know. And I'm, I'm not really surprised. Well, in the sense, I'm, well, in two ways. I'm not surprised it sold big numbers because, you know, it had a good, uh, a good license behind it. But I'm also not surprised to hear that it sold a lot because I know that a lot of people um, are aware of this game. You know, you mention this game, people are like, oh, yeah, that game, I know it. Where are you guys? Jeez, he's bashing against the wall and... Stop it! Tommy, are you in the last room? In your bedroom? No, I wish I had my glasses. Oh my god, where is he? Has he now spawned back in this? Does he? Do they actually maybe sometimes move around? Okay, he's not in there. I'm going to have to be careful now. Because if I'm not searching these rooms properly, we could be here all, all day. There he is, see? Oh, the only part of me that's good at running is my nose. But I do. Tap hill is open, says Streamlabs. Uh oh, the only part of me that's good at running is my nose. Why was Phil and Lil running on the spot? That was weird. Good job, Chucky. I guess I gotta find Angelica now. Okay, there we go. Uh, uh, I don't feel so good. Here, take your yucky glass. Music's a bit weird. Oh, that's better. You look a little sick, Angelica. <laughs> ah! Ew. 
let's go clean you up. Oh dear, she was sick because she was wearing someone else's glasses. Shouldn't do that. Terrific. Touchdown Tommy. Oh yeah, this is the chocolate milk equivalent of the cookie throwing level. Let's see if we can actually do this one. I need to keep in mind that the throw button has a big delay on it. Of course, you and Betty go enjoy yourselves. Well, all right. We'll be back in a couple of hours. Yes! yes. Now you kids play nice and stay out of trouble while we enjoy the Ultra Bowl. Picked up something special. The Ultra Bowl. <laughs> Bottles are for babies. Whoa! Chocolate milk! Chocolate milk! Milk! Chocolate milk? But that's for grown ups like me! No, it's not! Give me that! Okay. Ready for the good music? Oh no, it's not the Over good music. Here. Right, slurp. The skill, the grace, the salaries. The salaries. <laughs> oh. No. Hey, I was interfered with. He throws the bomb. Run away. Hey, throw it. Throw it. Drink it. See, I share it between the babies. Angelica Pickles, what is this mess? Who was watching uh -oh. her? Uh oh. Let's clean you up. <laughs> oh my god, she's all of the levels just end with Angelica. Let's clean you up. Okay, so I've got three reptile bars, seventeen. A puzzle piece. Another. I could theoretically finish this today. Well, I definitely could, but there are some levels that I would like us to do that um, we won't have time for. So uh, we will play it again next week and play the rest of it. I might need to have something prepped though as a, as a backup because it's probably not going to take us two hours. Um, so we've got the toy level. We've got Seventh Voyage of Cynthia, or Seven Voyages of Cynthia. Um, Oh, is that a reptile bar on the worktop? No. It was the curtains. So we've done Chucky's glasses. Where's my reptile puzzle? Where's my reptile puzzle? We've done the golf, which is by the door. There's Mr. Friend, which is down here, I think. There we go. Oh, it's easy, apparently. It's easy, but creepy. Prepare yourselves. Ow, oh, my eye. My doctor says I'm not supposed to get jigs in it. Oh. Not supposed to get pudding in it. Uh oh. Oh no. The door's shut. Someone uh -oh. shut the baby in the basement. This was the creepy toy that Stu Pickles made. Oh boy, a brand new friend to me. You can call me Mr. Friend. You'll never ever be bored again. Oh my god. You'll never ever be bored again. Rise and shine, you sleepy head. It's no fun to stay in bed, in bed, in bed, in bed. Oh my god. Not happy with that at all. It's no fun to be in bed. Rise and shine. I'm your. And that's it. No, it's not.
Press triangle near him, Mr. Friend, to grab him and press X for a kick. Three against one isn't playing fair. Show me what you got. Take that. Stay away from squiggly worms. They're full of dirt and yucky germs. That's true. God, they're fast, these Mr. Friends. Oh my god, they can climb. They climb now? They climb now. A word of caution, if you please. Don't kiss the cat when it has fleas. Or, or at all. Don't kiss the cat. Let's all think of happy things and laugh and skip and dance and sing. It's been set to evil. It has. Mr. D oh, Mr. Daryl Phoenix is in the chat. Welcome. Take that. Okay, I need a cookie. Hey, little pal, it's time to play. We're going to have a happy day. But it's spawning more, I think, still. Obey your parents, stay out of danger. Take daily baths. Nope. Don't talk to strangers. Um, not one. Yay! I beat it in. Oh, what happened? My creations, my beautiful creations. Now, Stu, maybe the world just wasn't ready for Mr. Friend. Let's go upstairs and think of a new toy. Ah. Hey, guys. Speed run going on here. I'm about to complete this puzzle. I might have even got another puzzle piece for the number of reptile bars I've got. Or is it 20? I'm definitely going to be... I, I, I could easily just finish this now. Um, maybe I should. Maybe I should just finish it. And then next week we can um, play something else. Or maybe even by next week the anniversary game might be out. I don't know if, like, if, it, if it exists, which it might not at this point... Are they going to release it on the anniversary or, or you know, a little bit ahead of time to celebrate the anniversary? I don't know. Because um, the anniversary, I believe, is the 15th. Let me just Google that. It might be, is it the 10th? Uh, Beyond Good and Evil PS2 release date. Um, November the 11th in America... And November the 14th in the EU on PlayStation 2. Was there any earlier thing? No. So I guess the anniversary is the 11th, maybe, of November. So that's that's soon. That's the end of this week. And the 14th is the Tuesday. That's a week today. So if it's if they do the, um, the European release date, which they might do because they're a European company. Again, this is all assuming it's actually happening. Then that will be after my next stream. So we will have to think of something we can play. Mm. Popcorn. For one week, but um. Mm, popcorn. Okay, let's do the toy level now. That's that's a fun one. I'm a little bit scary, but hey, that's fine. Uh, is it in their room actually? The. Ooh. This is my mommy and daddy's room. If you find a toy in your mommy and daddy's room, do not touch it. Hey, my old Thor doll from Toy Palace. Hmm, Toy Palace. If you want to go. Dee Dee, I'm taking Tommy and Chucky to the store. Remembrance Day, when we remember when BGE came out in the US. Indeed, yeah, 11, 11, 11. Wow, isn't this place terrific? The Toy Palace is closing in five minutes. Aww. Please take your final purchases to the front of the No. Store. Sorry, kids. <gasps> Looks like we have to... Hey. Mr. Friend. Wee Willy Warp Time Translator. This is the bestest place ever. Wee Willy Warp. We never had to leave. Maybe we don't. Here we go again. Oh, the coal fusion reactor's not even included. Let's go, <laughs> Wait, what? Toy Palace is now closed. Thank you for shopping, Toy Palace. Tommy? Tommy? Oh, I got 
got a bad feeling about this. Liminal space. A locked toy shop at night with this the lights off. Work. There's a diff it's fun actually when um when a, a scary thing happens, your running animation changes. Hey, I'm not scared to get around here. He legs it. This'll never work. What's what's going on? Oh no, I've clipped through. I'm doing the speed run. What boundary breaking. Just thought there might be something Look at up all there. This stuff. Yeah, there was Mr. Friend in the background. It clearly was a success. It made it to the toy palace. Oh my god, I'm stuck. There we go. Which way now? I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. They got a million toys in Toys R Us that I can play with. Oh my god, all these scary robots. Look at all this stuff. There's a mad. Oh my god, right. Here's a little, here's a spooky thing. This, um, this sound effect used to terrify me as a kid. Well, I say terrify me. I was a bit older than the target audience even when I owned this for the first time. But, um, it's a scary noise. There's like some cowboy, like Wild West toys around here shooting arrows at each other. And the sound is not nice. This will never work. Hate this noise. Those uh, Native Americans are also very reductive and stereotypical. Whoa, P Pi Pion and Joe. Classic Native American name. West. Oh, scary clown. Oh my god. What does it do? Does it do anything? It just hurts me <laughs> to touch. Oh, oh no, my god. Me. And these things scare you as well. They shoot stuff out and that squirts water at you. And look at that thing. I mean, that's awful. Even when it's not moving. Oh, look, it's the, uh, it's the blocks from... Oh, my god. I was about to say. It's the exploding blocks from the balloon level. Worth it for the reptile bar. That's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, yes. Did they all have a reptile bar in, or was it just behind it? It was behind it, okay. That's ridiculous. Hey, I'm not scared to oh, no. get around here. Okay, um, go in the ball pool. What is that? Homer Simpson toy. Um, ridiculous. Do they have boxing gloves or? That's ridiculous. Not sure what's going on there. Um. Oh. Um. Yeah, if you, uh... If you, um... Hey, I'm not scared to get around here. Take too much damage, they just cry. And, uh, it's game over. Um... I'm getting a phone call here, which might be... It might be... Might be an important phone call. Um... Hang on. Just in a message. Okay, well, I mean, I am on overtime. I think I am actually gonna have to dash. That's a shame. I've never, I've never actually had to just end a stream like that for, 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 um, for pressing matters, but, um, Probably I'm going to have to call it here, but that's fine. It gives us enough content to do next week to maybe just... What is this humanoid cow that just says moo? 
I did. I have not. I. I clearly didn't look at like these, these um, these designs and stuff when I was a kid. I don't remember the, the human cow. Okay. Well, um, we have to like go through the ball pit and like you know what? We'll we'll leave it for now. I am gonna have to dash sadly, but uh, quit level. Yeah. Oh, save game. Yes. No, 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 no. Peter's cousin's uncle's friend lost a shoe. He has to hurry off. That's right. I do. Quit level. Yes. And then I'll do a um, a safe state as well, just to be doubly sure. Although all the, all the levels are available from from the beginning, so even if we had no save files, I think we could uh, just boot the game up. Uh, Tommy's having a little dance. Uh, save state. Saved. Okay, I've done it. Good. Well, thanks everyone. I am going to have to run, unfortunately. But there we go. That was um, Rugrat Search for Reptar. If next week we do not yet have an 11 11 um, Beyond Good and Evil release, then um, I will play some more of this. Uh, if we do, then I won't. Um, and maybe I'll pick it up later. Um, cause, uh, hey, we're nearly at the, the fun level where you get to smash up the city as Reptar. Um, but, uh, that's, that's most of Rugrat Search for Reptar that you've seen there. Uh, there's a list out tonight, 10 best rivalries in video games, so go and check that out if you want. Uh, and thanks very much for being with me on today's stream. I will see you very, very soon. Alright then. Uh, yeah. Lovely. Bye for now, everyone. Where's the, where's the mouse? There it is. See ya.